Adante Wright's killing one of several high profile cases that have raised questions about police use of force protocols. Today, agents from the ATF were in the Bronx conducting a training session on this very issue. Fox says Lizette Nunez got to take part in it. From a real life traffic stop that turned deadly for a police officer. You show me your other hand. Well, I work here. Let me see. Put your both, both your hands up to a simulated scenario of a possible break-in. Agents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives took Fox 5 through a use of force training, a training program that the NYPD also uses. Agents played videos of real-life scenarios that law enforcement officials go through on a day-to-day -day in front of members of the media. ATF officials citing cases that have set legal standards when it comes to using force. And what some of the practical realities of human performance are by officers when they find themselves in those stressful circumstances. Some of those scenarios showcased through a firearm simulator. My scenario, a traffic stop where the driver pulled a knife on me. Drop the knife, drop the knife. The driver attempted to slash me. Is there anything I could have done differently or better? Uh, the only thing that I, you were giving him commands, which was good, and presumably so was your partner on the other side of the car. Um, I would have had my gun out quicker, and on the, as soon as you saw the knife, right, your gun was kind of still down by your side. You didn't, until he started looking at you and counting and coming towards you, you didn't really raise your gun up. So I don't want to, again, this isn't a tactical debrief, but just from an officer safety standpoint, Again, it's about time. And this training comes after several high profile cases where officers' actions have come under scrutiny. Agents also add that use of force depends on a totality of facts that includes a person's demeanor and whether or not they are armed. Agents also add that this training is meant to add context to the debate of use of force. At Rodman's Neck Firing Range, Lisette Nunez, Fox 5 News.